hello, hello. This is Shay. Thank you for joining me for this week's Whip and Chat. Whip, uh, W-I-P, stands for Work in Progress. And my work in progress um, is a diamond painting. And chat, we're just going to chat. So yes, I'm so glad to be back this week. Uh, I do try to do these weekly. Um, it's an opportunity for us to catch up. So definitely let me know down in the comments how you are, okay? It means a lot to me. I love reading your comments. I love everyone's support. I love all the love flowing in. I try to give it back to you. So yeah, give me a comment um, down the, you know, below and let me know how you are. So let's talk about what we're going to be working on today and where we're at. So let's see. Let me just show you my watch. It is, well, no. We don't want to hear Siri. It is Wednesday, July 24th at 10.06 p.m. for me. So uh, it's Wednesday for me slash Thursday for you if you're watching this the day that it comes out. Yes, welcome, you guys. Um, hello to those that might be new here. Um, thanks for clicking on the video and joining us. And, of course, welcome back to the folks that have been back again and, um, you know, are always here for me. So this community is something special. So if you are new or just need a reminder for those of you that maybe we forget, you know, we just, we get used to things, but um, I get reminded a lot how, how special the community is. And I hope you're getting to know some folks and making some friendships and, and making the most of it because it is a special place. All right, so let's talk about what I'm gonna be working on. So my diamond painting is, it's from Unimade. It's Deity of Dawn. And here is the image. It's this beautiful mermaid. I've been working on her for, I think the last couple of whipping chats. This was a mermaid that I was doing back in March of 2023. Put her away after March, brought her back out. We are close. Today we're gonna be working on her face. Look at this. So we've got this square, if you wanna look up for a sec. Uh, I, I started working on it last night, doing a little bit of the hair. So I've got this, and I've got one more square, okay, on this row, and then I just have one row left. That's it. And then we're gonna be done, okay? And today is what, the 24th. So I figured, okay, let me, let me, let me do a countdown because I wanted to try to have this finished before August. So let's just say, uh, let's say 24 right now, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Oh, I think I'm gonna be able to do it. I think if I can do a square a day, um, I think I can do it. So yes, I think I can do it. I'm gonna try because I'm hosting an event with Ditsy, my friend Ditsy and Dear Helper. Uh, we're going to be hosting Oz and Og, and that's uh, a Wizard of Oz event in the month of August. So I need to kit up that baby, get that thing going, work on that in August. So um, I'll be happy to have this completed. She's beautiful, and I can't wait to hang her up on my blueprint rack where I display my diamond paintings. So yeah, so that's my painting. She is upside down, by the way. I'm a flipper. When I get halfway, I flip them, and I'm able to diamond paint upside down. A lot of people, I don't know, I don't know if, let me know. That's a good question for the video. Is there some folks that don't do that, that think flipping it and working on it upside down and seeing the symbols is difficult or it's not something you like to do or something you don't mind doing? Let me know how your feelings are about flipping. I'm curious to know your thoughts. So again, that's my diamond painting. Uh, my tray is from Muni Made. It's one of the larger trays. Don't remember the color, but I love this one. I am using, I forgot to use it last week, but this is something new that I unboxed recently, a couple weeks ago. This is from my friend, Jenny, the Uncrafty Crafter. She has an Etsy shop called Oh Snap Crafters Cafe. And I'll have her, I'll have all these folks linked down below. Um, so you don't have to write anything down. But this is a tray charm and it has got a scented apple orchard felt pad inside. And I absolutely adore it. Look at this, you can shake. Oh, it smells so good. So love this. I forgot to use it last week because I switched trays. So but yeah, it's my mini tray. Then I have, of course, my Lexi Sparkle Craft trinket tray made out of resin. Love it. And then I have a new accessory this week, y'all. I got some friend mail and I couldn't wait to show you guys. So I don't know if you remember, I actually already threw them away. I should have kept them for this video, but uh, uh, I don't think it was last week, but maybe the week before. I had shown you, like I always do, my tweezers, my pen, you know, my ceramic cutter. And um, Paul, dear helper, Dizzy's husband, who's a good friend of mine, um, was mortified, just absolutely mortified by my gold tweezers. They, I pointed out to y'all how they were like bowing out like, like a duck's beak because they were so bad. Now, Paul diamond paints only with tweezers, not a pen. So this is how he places the diamonds is with tweezers. So tweezers are important to him. I mean, they should be to me too, but I kind of rough on him. He bought me, you guys, some personalized rainbow, beautiful 
I love them. I got two, I got two of them. So I have this one and I have a backup in case these bend and it's got my name on it. <laughs> They're so pretty. They're extremely sharp. Look at this. I'm able to pick up, I'm able to pull back plastic. This is what I use my tweezers for. So after this square, I'll go to the next one and I'll go to like, you know, cut it. And then just to kind of peel things or if you misplace a drill, cat hair, dog hair, food, all those things, tweezers really come in handy. Or like I've shown y'all before, bugs in the wine. By the way, I've got my wine, so grab something to drink. Um, yeah, so tweezers are multifunctional. They do a lot, now I have my own, so I feel very fancy. Looks like there's some fingerprints on them. I feel like I need to clean them, but they are just fantastic. I will, um, I will get with him and ask him for the link, because I think he got them from Etsy, yeah. So I will get the link if y'all are interested, but they are just gorgeous. I mean, how fun, right? It's one thing that I've never really gotten into was like some f really nice tweezers and now I have them. So yes. Uh, and then of course I have my ceramic cutter. Like I said, I do section my diamond paintings off with, with uh, you know, washi tape. I don't use release papers. I used to, and I, I should again, I think I should go back and forth, but right now I'm still doing washi tape from Simply Gilded. Cut this back. So yeah, that's what that's for. And then of course my pen that I've had for the last, I think couple of weeks. This is one of my favorite pens. This is from Enablers Outpost. And they do have a website, they have a shop and Facebook and a YouTube channel. Look at the sparkle in this. I mean, it hurts your eyes. You might need some sunglasses, it's just beautiful. So I got this, I won this at, at as, as a door prize at a retreat and I love it. Um, I just use the brass tips that come with the pins and I have micro glue dots in there. And then I like just the good old, you know, white plastic multi-placers and I use some putty in there. Whatever putty I have on hand at the moment. Mm, it's not even in here. I just use whatever I can find. Actually, is it in here? I'm not even sure what putty I'm using, but I just grab whatever. Um, all right, so, and then of course I have my trash tray from Unimade. It's actually a cover minder, but I don't need a cover minder right now because I'm actually like not, I'm just cutting these off and like tossing them. Um, but yeah, I've got my trash, trash little trash tray here. And, oh, and Harbor Freight. My Harbor Freight containers, boop, boop, boop. And I think that's it. Um, I have not diamond painted today. So I'm like, can y'all tell? I don't want to rush it, but I'm like rushing it because I am ready to hang out with you guys. I'm ready to just sit down. So y'all, again, grab, I forgot to tell you, grab a project. Grab a diamond painting if you diamond paint. Most of y'all do, but if I know some of you don't that follow me. So grab anything you want to do. Hang out with me. We normally go for about an hour. Um, you know, grab something to drink. I do have water as well. You gotta hydrate y'all. Got the wine, we got the, the water, uh, grab something to eat. I did actually grab, but I just gave them to my son, um, some Bucky's um, mini churro cinnamon cookies. Cinnamon churro cookies, they were really, really good. But yeah, let's get started. But again, let me know how you guys are. I don't wanna forget to ask you guys, it means a lot to me to hear how you guys are and to catch up with you. This is why I like these weekly whip. They're like weekly, it's a weekly check-in. It really is. It's a chance for us to just kind of see how everybody's doing, you know? It really is. And it's so important. So, all right, let's get going. All right, yes, how is this gonna feel? I, I feel a little rusty. I don't know why. It's like, where am I at, where am I at? When I haven't diamond painted in a while, it's like I gotta remember again. I mean, it was just last night, but. Why haven't I diamond painted today? Um, well, I'm still sleeping in. So here we are at the end of July, right? So school starts uh, August 12th for my kids here in Dallas, August 12th. So we have about mm, two and a half weeks left of sleeping in. So I'm trying to enjoy the last bits of it. So I slept in today till about mm, noon. Yep, thereabouts, but I stayed up till about three in the morning. So, and that's not like me. I'm normally the grandma that goes to bed super early. So this is a whole new thing, but um, but let's let's reverse. Let's let's go back, okay? I know I'm talking about today, but I gotta remember, let's go back. I really do try to kind of start back up again where we maybe had left off from our last, you know, whip and chat. Um, I did want to thank you guys so, so, so very much for all the awesome comments and kind words about me working with Muni Maid. You guys just made me feel like a million bucks. You also made me feel <laughs> a certain way as far as my, my competency <laughs> in helping her. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, I was just like super nervous as far as like um, 
so we'll, we'll talk about how we met up and how long I've had the paintings and why I haven't done them or why I had not done them yet until today. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Everybody was so, so, so kind. I, I it was all but, but kind. I mean, I, I, I know some people said, you know, in this, in this world, especially with being a YouTube creator, you know, you got to have tough skin. And I have, I've had some, some not so nice comments in the past, but it's very far and few between. And I haven't gotten any in a while and I'm going to knock on some wood because I really do appreciate you guys. Just nothing but love is all I felt after that last whip and chat. Nothing but love. Privately, I mean, publicly, everybody was just super, super supportive of me working with M and with Muni Maid. And they were like, you know what? It makes sense. Y'all are going to be, so yeah, it just, but at the same time, I felt this obligation to go, okay, everybody thinks I'm that, like they're building me up. Like I'm, <laughs> um, how, how am I going to live up to these expectations is almost how, and I didn't even think about that when I was openly talking about it. I was just telling you guys what had just happened. It was a week ago tonight that Em and I talked and she decided to go with me. And she, again, like I said, picked me, you know, she chose me and we decided to work together. Um, it's been a week and what a week it's been. I've already got a video out for her, which is crazy, right? All within one week. So if I do think back on it, it it's crazy what can happen in a week. But when two people want to get something done, we all get it done, right? Get, get to work and she's ready to work. And I was too, but I was a little hesitant. I was scared. So all right, so yeah, so last week we talked about Mini Maid, which like I said, you guys were just super, super, super supportive, so kind. It made me really feel good about myself and about my abilities and what I've done here for the last, you know, three plus years. It just, it felt really good. So I, I needed that and I do appreciate it more than I can probably express in this video. So thank you guys. It, it means a lot. It really does. It, your how you guys, you know, feel about us. It does. I mean, people are like, oh, you shouldn't care about what people think about you. Mm, well, that's easier said than done. And it does matter. Not that it, you need validation, but it just kind of shows, you know, you're doing the right things and people, you know, um, I don't know, they, they believe in you and they think you're a good fit and a good choice. And, you know, it's just, it just, it was, it was good. I really did appreciate it. Um, so yeah. Uh, so that was last, let's see, Wednesday. Yeah. That's last Wednesday. Um, I can't really remember anything about Thursday. Or really, Friday um, was super fun. Kind of just, you know, been hanging out with friends and video chatting and diamond painting. So Friday night, um, the reason why I'm bringing up Friday night because this is kind of when it's something started to happen. Um, so Friday night, I'm talking to Ditsy and Paul and some other folks online. And Ryan, my oldest, who's 19, um, had just got home from work. And he walks in and he's got his finger bandaged up. He's always cutting himself at work. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's happened a lot. And I always make a big deal about it. He's like, I'm fine, I'm fine. You know, just, he's always got a cut, a scratch, a burn, you know, cause he works in the kitchen. So yeah, there's always, and so he came in and he, you know, he gets, he said hi to everybody and he had his middle finger, um, you know, wrapped up. And he's like, yeah, I'm like, what happened? He goes, oh, I cut my finger at work, but he didn't show me. But y'all, it's probably for the best because I think I would have passed out. <laughs> I think I would have, uh, yeah. So in our household, and I think we've, t I know y'all, we've talked about this before probably, but if y'all are new, um, I've talked about like giving blood, um, seeing blood, anything like that. I passed out. I don't do well with any boo-boos. I don't do well with like throwing up. I, I just, bleh. I don't do well with it. Super, super queasy. So it's, and we call my husband, Dr. Dad. Because my husband's the one the kids go to when they get a cut, scrape, you know, anything blood related, scrape, dad, like, you know, fixes you up. Even me. I mean, I go to dad for like, you know, I cut myself shaving my armpit. I was like, honey, I need help. And so he fixed me right up, put a band aid on me, and <laughs> got me set up. That's just Dr. Dad is who, you know, he's who we go to, not mom. Um, so dad was out of town, right? So that was probably, he was in California all week. So, and he wasn't getting home till actually he wasn't supposed to, he was supposed to get home Friday night, but his flight got delayed till Saturday night. So there was some issues there with travel. So anyways, he didn't really say too much about it, kind of walked off and that was it. Right. So I thought, well, hubby gets home Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, and he walks in and we actually see Ryan, um, 
putting on a Band-Aid, getting in the first aid kit and putting on a new Band-Aid. And I'm like, what happened? He goes, I showed you. And I'm like, he goes, I remember I cut it at work last night. And I was like, well, yeah, but you never showed me. And then of course, you know, my hubby's like, my husband's like, uh, let me see. And he's like, dude, I think you need stitches. And I was like, oh. <laughs> I looked at it. It was so bad. It was so gross, y'all. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to show you any pictures. Don't worry. I, I, I didn't take any because that's just gross. But he, um, like just filleted, like, phew, like down and ugh. So, uh, but at this point it was like kind of getting late Saturday night. I don't even know. It was like 10 or 11 o'clock at night. I think by the time when all this happened, my husband was like, well, uh, uh it's kind of too late tonight to probably go to the ER. Uh, it can wait till the morning. So that was Saturday. And then let's see. Oh, well, let's talk about the rest of Saturday. Let, let's back up a little bit. I totally skipped over a part. I, I forgot. Um, I'm sorry. I don't have notes. I'm just kind of trying to remember what's happened this last week. Um, okay. Let's talk about Mini Mate. That's what I was going to talk about. Y'all, some of y'all might've seen the pictures, but, uh, Em and I had talked about, she had three diamond paintings that she was ready to hand off to me and to have me do videos for. And we kind of do like a, you know, little trial basis and see how those three go and kind of go from there before we, you know, make anything official. So, um, this was what Thursday, right? Cause all this kind of happened Wednesday night. So on Thursday I told her, or maybe I even told her Wednesday night, I said, um, if you have anything you want me to start working on, I'm, I'm free. The kids are off. We're just, we're just chilling. I'm like, I can come meet you, um, Thursday if you want. And I can come pick up some stuff if you have stuff ready for me. And she was like, you know what? I actually need to go kind of gather up several things for you. Um, let's meet. Can you do Saturday? And I was like, yep. And so we decided to meet at Bucky's. And y'all, I've never met Muni Maid. I've never met M. Now, if you don't know, so we refer to to her as M. Okay, M is what she goes by. We don't want, we don't know her real name. It's like a secret, which is, I love that. It's like very, you know, that's what she goes by. Her company name is Muni Maid. And we call her M. So, if you heard, if you hear me refer to M, that's who I'm talking about. Kind of had to explain the same thing to my husband. Um, he definitely knew who she was though, because we, you know, he definitely knows her from her trays and dime paintings and everything um, over the years. But we've known each other for, you know, a long time. Like ever since, you know, she started her her diamond painting trays. I've been purchasing them, trying to purchase them, definitely buying a lot. Um, sent her a baby gift when her, you know, son was born. Has I've bought like crocheted items from her, like pumpkins and bookmarks for Lou, and just always really, really try to support her. She even made um, a custom uh, crocheted item for Randy. You can call me Butter, my bestie. She made her, so Randy's logo is I'm on a roll and it shows like a roll, get it? You can call me Butter. And the, there's like a pad of butter on top. I actually sent an image to M of her logo and said, can you make a roll with like a pad of butter, like with a little face on it, like her logo. And she's like, yeah, I'll do it. And she did it for me. So I gave that to Randy one year for her birthday. So the fact that, what I'm, why I'm telling you all these things is the fact that I actually got to meet her in person after, I don't know how, you know, three years of knowing her, but not meeting her in person was just so special. So incredibly special. I was nervous. I was excited. Um, so we decided to meet at Bucky's. And we were going to meet at one and she let me choose a time. And I was like, yeah, one o'clock. Cause I figure I sleep in now these days. So one o'clock is what we agreed to. So it was about 12 and I was getting ready to leave and I was going to be going towards her. I don't think it was very far from where she was, but it was about 50, about 51 minutes for me. So almost an hour. So I was getting ready to leave and Lou the night before my 11 year old, who's, you know, Lou, she, my daughter, she was like, mom, I'll come with you. And I was like, okay, well the next morning I didn't, you know, you never know the next day if that's what they're still going to do. And I asked her, I'm like, I'm about to leave. Are you going to come with me? She's like, can we stop at McDonald's on the way? That's all she cared about was food. I was like, yes, we'll stop at McDonald's. So I told Em, I'm like, Hey, uh, can we push it back to like one 30? Because Lou's now coming with me. And I think we're going to stop at McDonald's and just to give us some like, you know, extra time. And she was like, yeah, she's like, we're actually, I'm actually bringing my husband with me now and my son, uh, because we have to go to Home Depot and we're actually going to go to stop at McDonald's too. I was like, perfect. So it was really nice to have Lou with me in the car. 
you know, to have some company for that hour drive. We listened to music, we talked, it was really, really good. We, we had a great time and we did that. And then um, we stopped at McDonald's, of course, we got some food. And then we got to Bucky's about 15 minutes early, but about 1.15. So here's the great thing about it is I had told M that it was actually perfect. We were making a meeting at Bucky's because my last uh, Patreon and YouTube membership. Oh, I don't know if you can hear Jasper. Uh, we haven't even talked about dogs. Small disclaimer. I forgot to mention it. Small disclaimer. If you hear snoring, you might have already heard it. And if you've been here before, you know how this goes. Ollie, my French bulldog is right below my crafting table my dime painting table and he snores. He's my shadow. He's always here. It's part of these videos. Yeah. I actually had to kick him out when I did my mini made video, but you can hear my other dog, Jasper, who's my Boston, who's kind of getting like cranky. He's by the, he's by my door whining. Are you good? Are you good? Do you just want to say hi? Or you want to try to get out? I think he wants to leave. <laughs> he must hear somebody downstairs. Um, but yeah, so I told Emma, I was like, you know what? During my last Patreon and Zoom, um, monthly Zoom that we have, I had made a comment about, uh, we were talking about beaver nuggets. And I do quarterly gifts for the top two tiers. And I thought, I, we mentioned like beaver nuggets. And everybody I was like, maybe I'll send y'all some beaver nuggets. And everybody's like, yeah, yeah. Because a lot of people have never had them before. And I kind of forget that. And what a fun, I wasn't sure if it was something they would want, but everybody seemed to be excited about it. And I was like, okay. So um, Lou and I, I told Em, I was like, we just got here. She's like, we're still eating McDonald's. I'm like, great. I'm like, we're going to run into Bucky's. We're going to get the beaver nuggets we need to get for my, my Patreons and members. And we'll be back out. She's like, perfect. So Lou and I ran in and she was so embarrassed by me. Just like appalled, you know, 12, you know, 11 years old. She's going to be 12 in August. So she's like, Oh my gosh, why are you crying? I think I'm gonna have to let this dog out. Should we let him out? Cause he's like distracting me. Buddy, do I need to let you out? Okay, uh, hold please, I'm gonna let my dog out. All right, the hound has been out. So Jasper is no longer with us, but Jasper doesn't make a lot of noises. He's pretty quiet. He's, he's a quiet little guy. Uh, but yeah, Jasper, but Ollie's still here. So have no fear. There's always, I got three, three dogs. So there's always somebody here. Um, so yeah, I told Em we were there. So we went in and I told Lou, I'm like, okay, so let's go to the Beaver Nuggets. She was like, so <laughs> she was so embarrassed that I was going to be grabbing 30 bags of Beaver Nuggets. She was like, mom, that's really embarrassing. I'm like, are you serious? You know how many people probably do like so many more things? I mean, come on. I mean, we were talking about on my live on Sunday. It's like, it's beaver nuggets. People don't get a chance to go to Bucky's very often. Sometimes it's like a one one time thing, right? And you just like so you get into it and you just buy who knows what you're gonna buy and what you're gonna how many you're gonna buy. So I'm sure they see all kinds of weird things. But she was very embarrassed that I was getting 30 bags of something. So I started. I, we found the kiosk at the end, and uh, she goes, "I'm gonna be over here." And so she she goes to a different section. She was so embarrassed. So I grabbed a cart. And I grabbed a third, I got 15. So they had two different flavors that I wanted to get. I got 15 of um, sea salt caramel, I think it was. And then 15 of the sweet cinnamon, I think is the other one. So yes, I got my beaver nugget. So now I just need to get like, you know, the envelopes. I need to get some more like packing supplies and start packing those babies up and sending them off to my folks. So yeah. Um, so we, so once I did that, we, Em's like, we're here. And I'm like, perfect. We were like checking out. It just worked out so great. And we're walking out to my car and I told her where I was parked. I was parked like the very last row because it was busy there. And I thought, how was we, all we knew was like what each other were, were driving. And we decided to obviously to meet in the parking lot because she had a box to give me. So we couldn't like meet inside. And so I'm like, I'm under the beaver head, like the big Bucky sign with the big beaver. And I'm like, I'm the very last row, like kind of the outskirts kind of facing the highway. And so she found us. She told us what she was driving. She was right next to my car. So we go up and I was so nervous. Oh my gosh. But we got, she got the cutest and it was her idea to take a picture with some so, so happy that she documented like that moment because it was really, really special. And I'm so bad about pictures, but it really meant a lot. So, um, I got to meet her husband. Like I said, her son, he's 13 months old and he's just the cutest. Lou kept saying, he's so cute. He's so cute. I'm like, I know. 
but we stood out for about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. And we were like dying, it's, you know, of heat. It's so hot. And we just want to like talk forever, but we're like, okay, husband, you know, daughter, kid, baby is like, you know, everyone's like, okay, let's, let's, let's get going folks. So Em and I talked and uh, like I said, she asked Lou if she'd take our picture. So Lou got our picture and she's adorable. I already knew she, I mean, I've seen her online. I know what she looks like, but so gorgeous. She's beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. Just, you know, just what I thought. And she's just it's really cool when you meet people in person and they're just like they are online. You know, it's just, yeah, it's pretty cool. You know, it is. They're just like you thought they would be. And she's that and more. So, yeah, so we got to meet. Um, and like I said, she gave me a good big box of goodies. A good, good, good box of goodies, y'all. And kind of showed me everything. And she's so organized, incredibly organized, which makes... It's so much easier for me because, you know, the one that's, you know, that's doing some work for someone, it really helps to have details and have that person be organized because it just makes your job so much easier. So she's just extremely organized. So it just was like super easy. Really, really just like, I mean, yeah. So she gave me the box and then, um, and that was Saturday. So like I said, we got home. Um, my husband got home from the airport finally. And then like I said, Ryan was, okay, we'll get back to Ryan's finger. Oh my gosh. Y'all. So my husband's like, uh, dude, you need stitches. And I was like, what? Um, he goes, what? I'm like, he never showed me his finger. So then of course, you know, I felt like a bad mom. <laughs> so it was just, all right. So my husband's like, okay, so just in the morning, you know, do a web check-in for urgent care. I'm like, well, I'll call them first because I'm not even sure if urgent cares do stitches do stitches. And I don't know. We've never done this before. We've done a lot of things, but we haven't done stitches yet. So, um, I woke up in the morning and I called our care now, our urgent care. And I, I, you know, told them what was going on with this finger. And the first thing she asked me was, when did this happen? She go, Oh, I know she said, she said, did this just happen? And I said, no, it happened day before yesterday. She goes, Oh, Hmm we're not, we're probably not going to be able to do stitches. And I was like, Oh crap. Now I didn't know why at the time, but after we were there talking to the doctor, now I understand why she goes, but we might be able to glue it if it needs gluing. So I would go ahead and, you know, come on in and we can just take a look at it. I was like, all right. So by this point it's around 12 and I talked to Ryan and here I was thinking, okay, I have my live at four on Sunday and I'm like, okay, so you know, I told my husband, I'm like, if, cause they said it was going to be like a two hour wait before we could come in. And then I thought, okay, that's gonna be like two o'clock. And then I didn't know how much it was, you know, how long it was going to take. My husband was like, I'm like, can you take them if, you know, cause I have a guest cause I have, you know, I had Edward and Elizabeth from Enablers Outpost and we had a lot of things planned and I'm like, I, I can't really miss my live and I can't really reschedule. I can, if I need to, my husband's like, he's 19. He doesn't need us. I was like, honey, it's like, it could be like stitches or it could be. And the reason why I was saying this is because I felt really bad. So Ryan had, we were at Disney, our last Disney trip last March, this March, this past March. He, uh, we were there, not if you, if you guys remember this, you've been with me for a while. Um, he had an ingrown toenail when we got back from Disney. He was complaining about his, his toe hurting. So he went to um, the podiatrist that I was working for at the time. And of course, you know, I couldn't go because I was working. And he went in and he almost passed out because uh, he had to get a cortisone shot. He did not do well uh, getting a shot in his foot. And I felt really bad about like, I know he's 19. I, I understand that. But m maturity level and just everything else, he still lives at home. He's just not, I don't see him as an adult. I just don't. I know technically he is. And it is awkward when we go to the doctors and people are always like, so for instance, you know, for the, the urgent care visit, um, I ended up going with them. But so I went into, I told them, cause they called me, said they were ready like an hour later. So it was sooner than I thought they called and said, Hey, we're ready to see him. And I went into his room and told him it was time. And he goes, I said, so go ahead and head up there. Do you know which one it is? And I told him where it was. And he goes, you're not coming with me. I was like, no, you're fine. You're 19. You can, you can, he goes, but, and I could tell he needed me. And I was like, okay, let's go. He goes, you're not even dressed yet. Cause I was still in my pajamas. I'm like, I got you. And I'm like, we'll, we'll get this done. It's fine. I got you. We'll just, I'll be ready in like five minutes. 
he needed me, you guys. He just does. But what's weird about it is, so we get there and they take us back. And of course, you know, when the doctor uh, comes in and uh, the first thing she said was, she goes, now I have to say, you know, I, is this mom? And he goes, yeah, it's my mom. And she goes, well, you know, since you're 19, I just have to say, are you okay? Do we have your permission to talk about your medical things and whatever else in front of her? He goes, yes. That's what makes it awkward. It's like, you know, and I'm sure maybe they see it a lot. I don't know, but it's like, you've got an 18 or 19 year old that's, you know, still your kid and they're still living at home, but yet they are technically, you know, an adult. I get it. And like, you know, legally, you know, they can, you're really not allowed to have, um, you know, privy information, like their health information, health records and stuff, unless they give you permission. So it's just so weird. It's like, he's still my kid and he still needs me, but yet, you know, he has to say yes to doctors as far as yes, you can tell her things. It's just, I don't know. Yeah. So it's just maturity level and everything else. She's just not, not there yet. So anyway, she looked at his finger and here's what we found out. So, and some of y'all, a lot of y'all may already be like, okay, I know why. I didn't know why they couldn't do stitches since it was X amount of time. Here's what she explained to us. She goes, since it's been longer than 12 hours, she goes, we can't do stitches after 12 hours because bacteria is starting to grow. And of course, the last, one, the last thing you want to do is trap in that bacteria with stitches. And I'm like, oh, okay, okay, okay makes total sense. She said, but you know what, looking at it, she goes, you did a really good job. Cause she was asking him like, you know, what he did after it happened and how he, you know, took care of it. And he, he washed it with soap and water. And she said, that's like the best thing you can do. So she said he did an, a wonderful job and it was not infected and it was starting to heal, but she was concerned about, you know, an infection happening still and him hitting it and reopening it and all this. So um, she also wanted to take x-rays. So they did x-rays just to make sure it didn't go down to the bone. It was pretty deep. And so it had not. So we got an x-ray done and it didn't go down to the bone. So what they basically did, they wrapped it. They put some little um, sutures, like, like little butterfly, almost like butterfly stitches on it for like 24 hours. And then he took those off. But they gave him a little sling too, like a little, you know, silver thing to like slide on his finger so he doesn't hit it on anything and like reopen it. Um, but he is on antibiotics for a week, twice a day, two pills a day, twice a day, just, you know, keep, so he doesn't get it infected, but yeah, it's scary. I mean, and let's not even talk. We haven't even touched on the fact that it happened at work, right? I mean, I, some of you might be going, wait a second, or you might've already thought that. Uh, but what's interesting is when I was talking to Ditsy and Paul that night that Ryan came home from work, it's one of the first things Ditsy said, she's like, did you report it? And he's like, no. So we, he learned a lesson that if you hurt yourself at work, you need to tell work and you need to leave and go get it taken care of. You know, you need to report it because, you know, we foot the bill for this. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't expensive, but you know, what if it had been worse, you know? So he, we, you know, he learned and I did too. And yeah, so it was a learning, but, and I also told him, I'm like, why didn't you tell me it was this deep? He's like, I don't know. And I'm like, oh my gosh, boy. So yeah, he's kind of just, you know, keeping, keeping it clean and, um, you know, doing what he has for it. So we ended up getting back around the two thirty, I think from the urgent care. Well, we went to urgent care, of course. And then we went to the pharmacy and got the prescription. It's crazy because like the last I went to urgent care, what, two weeks ago on a Sunday. I'm like, what is it with me and urgent cares on a Sunday? Because remember I had my bladder infection. And now, and it's funny because it was the same doctor that I had seen. And it's funny because they told me to come back in two weeks and see if there was still blood in my urine. And I was like, ooh, I probably should. Oh yeah, we'll get that done eventually, I guess, if I think about it. I know I probably should, but don't get on to me. Uh, don't get on to me. So yeah, so that was, and then, I was super, super, super stoked for my live on Sunday, live. So if you are new uh, and you don't know, I do a live stream. I go live on Sundays at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. So if you would love, we would love to have you if you'd like to join us. Yeah, come on in. Um, there's normally not a lot of diamond painting talk. There's just, and I never want anyone to feel like, 
everybody already knows each other. Cause you know, it's always kind of like that at first, but if you don't say anything and don't start to interact, you'll, you're not going to get to meet anybody. So if you're comfortable enough and everybody's super inviting, super welcoming, very, very nice. Just say hello. If you're new, uh, first time here and everybody will just love on you and yeah. And you know, you can, you, you don't have to say anything. You can just lurk if you want to and just dive in paint and listen, but yeah, hang out with us because I do have, um, you know, guests from time to time throughout the community. And I had someone that I've known for about, mm, about four years now. And I, she made the comment. She's like, yeah, you've been asking us, you asked us to be a guest on your live like two years ago. I'm like, yeah, I did. I was totally fangirling. This was a small shop. It's a pen turner, uh, turners. I say Edward and Elizabeth that did, that created this pen. And I have so many more of their pens and they have diamond paintings and just they're good, good people. So if you haven't seen that live, you can go watch it. You can go watch the replay and you just get to see, you know, who these folks are behind these shops, you know, and get to see what kind of people they are. And we had met in person before at a retreat and they're just good people. And we had a really good time. It was fun to talk about how they started and, you know, where they've been and, you know, just the whole, the whole thing was really cool. And we did some giveaways, so it was really fun. So we did the live. And then after the live, did anything happen? It was a long live. It was like a two hour live, which is a little bit longer than I normally go. I normally go live for like an hour and a half. We were just having so much fun and I'm so happy for them. Let's talk about the box that they shipped me. So they finally decided to be on my live when the time was right, which I'm glad they did. And she told me they had something in mind. They had a new product that was coming and they wanted to wait and do it on my live and have me unbox it. I was like, all right. So I got the box on Friday, which I know I told you all about last week. I got it and I had it on Friday, told her I got it. And then I had to, I got to open it on the live. If you weren't there, I'll go ahead and tell you, you can go back and watch the replay too. I wish you would, cause you should definitely go see what I'm talking about and part, you know, go see what it looks like. I almost felt like I need to do like a dedicated like unboxing for those folks that have not seen it yet. But Edward and Elizabeth, they're, you know, they're married, they're married and Edwards turns the pens, but Elizabeth draws and I had no idea. She was an artist, no idea. She decided to have some of her artwork turned into some like snack sized diamond paintings. And so that's what she sent me. I got a sampler of three of her kits. They're the perfect, perfect size. They're small, they're so pretty, they're fun, they're cute. They're it's just, they're just happy, you know, just happy kits. And uh, yeah, and they're out there. I don't know if they're gone. I'm not sure, I haven't talked to her since. So I don't know, I'm talking about it now, but I'm not even sure if they're available, but I'll have them linked down below. So go check it out. Go see what's going on over there. They have some beautiful pens. Like I said, gorgeous diamond paintings. They support the artists, so they're just, you know, some good people. There's some good people in this community, and they're definitely uh, two top ones for sure. So, yeah, definitely go check them out. But, so that was Sunday. And let's see. Sunday, and then Monday. Oh, Monday I did an unboxing video. I'm just going to get a sip of water, y'all. I did. Can you hear him snoring? Let's do an Ollie snore. Wow, he's really loud. I have a fan on too, but you can probably hear him. Mm. That little guy's gonna be two in September. He's my baby. He's definitely my baby. Um, so Monday I did an unboxing for a brand new diamond painting company. So that was very fun. I, I enjoyed that. Uh, and then uh, what happened? Tuesday. All right, so on Monday, Lou, my 11 year old daughter and I were talking she's like, mom, I really want to go roller skating. I'm like, okay, let's do it. And so we were, she wanted to go Monday, but I checked their website and they were closed on Monday. I was like, sorry. I was like, Ooh, thank God. So I was like, well, I didn't have to go Monday. I just needed to prep for it, you know, cause I have other stuff like, you know, YouTube stuff I need to do. And let's get back to the Muni mate stuff. So I got, the paintings from M on Saturday, right? I got three paintings to do. Sunday, I had Ryan's finger, I had my live. I kind of started to pull them out and play with them and message her a little bit, a couple questions. 
And I was like, okay, Monday, the plan is I'm gonna start recording these. But first thing I did was I did a ton of research on, um, you know, the videos she had already done for her channel, for her paintings, kind of like her style. I wanted to, you know, make sure it was you know, what she wanted. And I wanted to know her style and like kind of what I needed to be covering. I watched other creators. I even uh, looked up how to pronounce certain artist names, certain features. So I definitely did a ton, a ton, a ton of research. Y'all, I was scared. I don't. It was weird. I, like I said, I almost feel like talking about it. I don't know if it was the best idea <laughs> beforehand because I mean, y'all were very, very supportive, but I almost felt like everybody was like, you're going to do amazing things together. And I'm like, oh man, it was like this pressure or something that I, I hadn't thought about or it didn't affect me until I went to try to film them. And then I felt it. And I kept putting it off because I thought I'm not ready yet. It needs to be perfect. I'm not ready yet. I need to look at this again. I need to look at that again. I need to review the notes again. I just need to do more research. I need to take more notes. And I was like driving myself crazy. And I was like, okay, you just start to, I don't know. You just like second guess yourself, question yourself, uh, crazy. I just, I've been doing this for so long and I'm like, but it was like, I wanted it to be it's different when you're doing it for your own channel and it's like you will not suffer the consequences, but you know, you, you, if it's what you do and it's what you get out of it, it's, it's what you've done. Right. I mean, it's like for your channel doing this for her channel, this, I'm putting it on her channel. I wanted it to be so good and just perfect. So Monday, you know, we looked at the roller rink, they were closed. I'm like, Oh, sorry. I'll just, I'll do my mini made videos. Well, Monday, I wasn't ready yet. I had everything laid out and I just, kept putting it off and putting it off. I'm like, why do I keep putting it off? I'm very, very excited about this. What's going on? And I was just in my head. I was just, that's, I mean, now that I'm saying it out loud, it's like, that's what it was. I was totally in my own head. And I was just making, I don't know, just questioning, like, you know, do I even know what I'm doing? You know, just, it's crazy how you can just start to question your abilities and just, I don't know, is that normal? Maybe it is. Is it that like imposter syndrome, you know, that some of us have talked about before? That's kind of what I was feeling like. I'm like, I don't know if I'm good enough for this. Maybe she should have, I don't know. I started questioning everything. So Tuesday, we had a plan to go roller skating. I was like, all right. So the roller rink did not open until uh, 1 p.m. It was open only, uh, thank God, <laughs> only from one to five. I was like, okay, at least I don't have to be there all day and I'm not gonna like die. So here's the cool thing about this roller rink. And I don't know if I've, I'm sure I've talked about it before probably, but this is the same roller rink that I used to go to when I was a kid. The same exact one. It's still open. It's still in business. It's so, and nothing has changed. It's just nostalgic. <laughs> I love it. I'm really lucky that I get to still revisit something from my childhood because a lot of, a lot of things don't work out that way. I'm going to be 50 this year. So I'm, I'm getting old. I'm, I'm, there's no, there's no avoiding it. I am getting older older, right? Not old, but older, right? Sorry, I'm looking for a symbol. Here we go. And I just, I love going there. She's had some birthday parties there and it's not even in our city. We don't even have one, which is kind of sad. They, I think they need to open up more roller rinks, but I do love the fact that this one is still there. Um, so I was like, uh, we were really, really excited. Um, so we get up, we uh, got our socks and she was going to bring her roller blades. I was going to just rent skates got my belt bag, you know, moved my purse over to a belt bag where it was like, you know, wouldn't be like hanging off my body. And we headed out. We left around one on Tuesday and we stopped at Chick-fil-A. Now my plan was originally, I was like, okay, we'll go roller skating for a little bit. And then when we get home in the afternoon, I'll do my Muni made videos. Okay. I know. And, and M never told me I had to have these done by like in two days or anything. She just said a week or two. So it's not like I had to have, but I just, you know, that, that's how I am. You know, somebody gave me something and I want to get it done. And I was excited about it. I, I was very, very happy about the whole thing and I wanted to get it done, but I was like in my head a little bit about, can I actually do, you know, am I good enough to be doing these for her? And I just started questioning my abilities and I don't know, it was really, really weird. I haven't done that in a long time. Um, about filming videos. So anyways, we, uh, stopped at Chick-fil-A 
and we grabbed some Chick-fil-A and we had about a 30 minute drive to the rink. We got there a little after two. We got there like 2.10. Now she knew it went till five and she's like, we're gonna be, we're gonna stay there till five. And I was like, girl, I don't think we can roller skate for three hours. I don't think you understand. Okay, so uh, it was like, what, 30 minutes in, I think. <clears throat> we did a little Patreon member, YouTube member uh, vlog and I was dying. <laughs> I was like, okay, we've been here for 30 minutes and, uh, and she was already having to sit out. We were, we were, we were kind of, it was rough. It was a lot of work, but you know what the cool thing is? There was no, it wasn't that busy. There weren't a ton of people, good music, like perfect amount of, just like a handful of people. We had the best time. I, okay. We had so much fun. We're going again tomorrow. <laughs> That's how much fun we had. We're like, we're doing this. It wasn't very expensive. It was $18. And that's because, um, you know, she had her roller blades. I, I rented skates, but you know, it wasn't, oh yeah. And we were only there for like, mm, we ended up only being there for like an hour and a half because we decided to go to a mall that's in Dallas that we never go to. She's never been to before. And she wanted to go back to school shopping. So, uh, but all in all, I got some really cool, uh, I took one vlog of myself, which I probably shouldn't have done, but I did it and it worked out okay. But I took a vlog of like, myself roller skating, like holding my phone skating <laughs> for like a lap. And then Lou took a video of me when she was resting for a second of me going around. So we had a really good time. We did, it was a lot of fun. Like I said, just good music, not a lot of people, fun. I was a little rusty when I first got out there, but ne I mean, I think next, I think, well, I say next time, I think tomorrow I'm gonna try to go backwards. I used to be able to do it all the time. Now y'all, this is a place I used to get to every Friday night for hours and this is for years I did this. It felt so good. It felt so good to be back roller skating. I, I feel like, I feel like a kid again. So if you have an opportunity to like do something like that, something that maybe you used to enjoy like when you were younger, who can do it, uh, just don't hurt yourself. But I recommend getting out there and just, you know, it just, it felt, I mean, it felt good to be out of the house, to be honest with you. It felt good to be out of the house. It felt good to be a little active. Um, so yeah, it was fun. It felt good to be with my one of my kids and see her happy. So we, we had a good time. And then we went to, like I said, went to another mall that was like 20 minutes, even further out from our house from there. And we were there till about 7.45 last night. So we went, we did some shopping. Yes, we did. We did some back to school shopping. So over the weekend, oh, that's what I forgot to tell you guys. So over the weekend, during my live actually, my husband took Nate, who's my 18 year old, almost 18 in August, he'll be 18. And then Lou, he took them back to school shopping and they went to an outlet uh, mall and they got backpacks and shoes. So she really just still needed like some clothes, like the first day outfit. So we had fun. We went and uh, did that for several hours. You know, it was just fun to go to a different mall that like has different stores that we don't have. And yeah, it was fun. Um, hold on one sec. Sorry about that. I had to take a potty break. That's never actually, I don't think that's ever happened before during my whipping chats where I had to pause to use the bathroom. That's pretty bad. But you know what? Nature calls, right? <laughs> I am human. I guess this is a reminder. I am human. All right, so where were we? Uh, yes, so back to school shopping, then we did that, and then we stopped at Chipotle on the way home and got dinner and came home. So yeah, it's been a good week. Um, tomorrow is, like I said, we're gonna go roller skating again, but I have something fun to tell you guys about. So I'm actually have an opportunity to have lunch with a subscriber tomorrow. So we're someone I've never met before. Well, I have, but it was brief. Um, so yeah. One of my friends here from the channel, one of my friends I've met in the community I've known for a while, um, she invited me over to her house and we're gonna have lunch. She's gonna make lunch for me, which is, I'm gonna feel so spoiled. So I'm really looking forward to that. We're gonna do that around noon and then um, we're gonna hit up the rink as soon as I get home. Ryan's off tomorrow and Ryan, my oldest, my 19 year old, he's actually gonna go with us. Him and Lou and I, oh goodness. You good? That was Ollie y'all, of course. Any, any any gross sounds are normally him. 
yeah, we are going to go roller skating again after that. And then, um, so let's talk about some things coming up. This is actually my last whip and chat until Oz and Aug. Next week's whip and chat, next Thursday is August 1st. And that will be the official start to Oz and Aug 2024. I hope you can join us. Um, again, it's Ditsy and I sell myself. So I'll have her channel link down below. It's Ditsy's Diamond Den. And she's an absolute doll. I love her and her husband, Paul. They are my work wife and work hubby. So we become very, very close. And yeah, it, they just kind of, um, we joke about it, but it is totally true and they know it is. But they have like re-sparked something in me that I needed. They came into my life at a time when I really, really needed it. So yes, so thankful for them. And they're just, they're good people too, y'all. So I found some good ones around here. I have found some good folks, but we're gonna be hosting it together. And so yeah, next Thursday, make sure you come back for the whipping chats and uh, you know, participate. We're gonna be having, uh, you know, the secret words and there's gonna be a ton of giveaways. So yes, Oz and Og starts I think this is, oh my goodness, this is the last time you're gonna see this painting. <laughs> I hope, I love it, but I gotta move on, right? We gotta move on. So we do, we gotta move on to our Wicked Witch and I'm so excited. Um, so let's talk about that. I meant to show this to you guys on my last live, but I had enablers outpost. I had, you know, Edward and Elizabeth and I got, I forgot. Um, one of our sponsors, is Sarah Ann Creations. She does have an Etsy shop. I'll have all of her information linked down below. She is donating two of these and I already got mine. Okay. I got mine and she's going to be donating two of these. They also are for sale. So I definitely wanted to show you guys if this is something you want to get before the event. Um, it's a project bag. I <laughs> just had to show you guys. She hand made this. Actually, if you go watch, she does have a YouTube channel. I'll have that link down below. She actually um, shows us on one of her lives from her YouTube channel, her making this bag. There's no place like home. It's got the glittery, I don't know if you see the glitter on though, the, the ruby slippers. It's a great size. It's got a zipper and look inside it's yellow, okay? So what these project bags are really good for is they can store basically like all the stuff I have right here in this box next to me for this painting. You've got tags, stickers, you know, all the things I've got, you know, enhancements. I have a whole box full of like extra drills. These are things I would totally keep in a bag like this if it was my Wizard of Oz painting. So that's what I'm going to be using is my project bag. And I know a lot of you that cross stitch or crochet, I'm sure you've heard of this. Look, it's got her little Sarah Ann creations. So yes, um, how these are $40. Okay. $40 for one of these bags and they are just beautiful. I think she made 18 and that's it. I don't know how many she has sold so far. I know she has sold some because I know Ditsy showed hers. I know some other folks that already knew about these that saw her make them. So uh, she said the best thing to do is email her if you are interested in purchasing one of these bags. But I would love to show her some love. It's just beautiful. She created this all by her. This is all her. This is all handmade. Now, I don't do any of these things, but I know it's a lot of work. I know it's a ton of work. And it's a good size bag, it's really big. So you can fit just, I mean, like I said, everything in there and then some, it's, it's a great size. So Sarah Ann, I definitely wanted to show you guys that because I forgot to show it to you. Um, if you wanna start getting prepped for your Oz and Aug, you know, your canvas and all your things. Um, I'm so excited, I'm just so excited. Um, let's talk about this Sunday. I've got a guest. She was so nice to push back because I had, you know, I had her actually scheduled originally for last Sunday, but because Edward and Elizabeth were ready with their stuff, um, we pushed it back. This is a newer creator, a newish creator. Um, her name is Jenna and her YouTube channel name is Queen of Diamonds. I'll have her link down below and that way you can go check her out before the live, but she's going to be with me this, this Sunday. So join us, please, please, please. And let's show her some love and all the things that we do here and just this community, how we all come together and support one another is, is, it's amazing. It really is. Yeah. I wish I could like tell y'all how I feel, but I can't put it into words sometimes. 
it just, I wish I could like take my heart out and like just show you my heart and just, it explains it. But I, I struggle sometimes. Um, yeah, this is why I'm still doing this. You know, I, yes, I love diamond painting, but, um, it's become so much more than that. So yes. Um, things I've been watching, we'll talk about that too. Um, what have I watched? I have watched more of uh, Life After Lockup. I know I'm embarrassed to say that, but I have Gypsy Rose Story. Uh, Lou and I have been watching it together the last couple episodes. It's like something we like to watch. It's like just entertaining. I've been watching that and Presumed Innocent. I just watched the, um, actually I have not finished it. I need to finish it. I, I've watched it two different times today, but I keep having to stop it. But that's that Jake Gyllenhaal um, Apple TV show I've been watching. And today was the, um, season finale. Uh, and I think I actually have like 20 minutes left of it. So I think I'm going to watch that after I let you guys go. Cause I need to finish that. But, oh, let me just, I forgot to tell you the rest of my Muni made story. So Monday I put filming the video. I put it off, right? I figured she has three videos for me to do three paintings. I'll start with one, send it to her and think, you know, kind of get her feedback. Right. I didn't do it Monday didn't do it Tuesday because we were roller skating and shopping. So today I was like, I'm doing it today. I'm going to do it today. I'm going to stop putting it off. I'm going to do it. Y'all, <laughs> it took me, I have them all saved. It would actually be kind of funny to go back and look at the bloopers. Um, uh, I don't actually know how many different takes it took, but I would say probably a good six or seven, uh, different takes. And then I finally filmed an entire one, but it was too long. It was like 10 minutes and I wanted that we want them shorter than 10 minutes. We want them more shorter and kind of just, you know, more to the point. And I was talking too much. So then I did it a couple more times. And finally, like the third time after like taking a break, I was like, okay, let me get something to eat. I ate dinner and then I did it tonight. And it was five minutes long, five minutes and something. And I sent it to her. I did the thumbnail. I put it on her YouTube channel as private and I texted her and I was like, okay, it's up. Let me know what you think. And I was so, so scared. And I was just like, okay, this is, you know, it's my first attempt. She can tell me, you know, uh, what she wants changed. It's not going to offend me at all. You know, this is her stuff. I want to know what she thought. And she made me feel, she's like, I should have done this. I should have hired you a long time ago. She's like, it was great. I was like, what? <laughs> and she said her husband even was watching it and said, wow, you know, um, so yeah, it, it, yeah, we're, we're figuring it out and it's good. And I just needed to get over. Maybe it was just like the first one just to kind of like, you know, I even watched my old craftably ones because I was trying to like, remember what it's like to do like a, it's hard because think about it when we, when creators normally do an unboxing, it's the average, well, for me and a lot of them, the average is about 20 minutes, right. To do an, a complete like unboxing. This had to be five minutes. So I didn't want it to feel rushed, right? I don't want it to feel that way. So I was trying to make it feel pleasant and like good to watch, but like, you know, just con you know, like, you know, just precise and like to the point without being rushed. So she gave me a few feedback things I'm gonna do on the next one, which I'm gonna do another one tomorrow. That's my goal. And she wants me to introduce myself, which I did not do in the first one because we never really had discussed that. And you know, it's not, I, I didn't, I don't, you know, she, she wanted me to say it was me and my channel name, but you know, I don't, I'm not doing it for credit, right. For, for me and for my channel and to get any kind of thing out of it. I'm doing it for her. So, but she wants me to just kind of explain that. And so I'm um, the next one I'm going to do is probably going to be the first one that'll go out. And, uh, yeah, I'll just kind of say a little blurb about, you know, I'm going to be helping her out and who, who I am. And, um, yeah, it might be a tad bit longer than some of the others, but, uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. I've just got to kind of like find my groove and it didn't take me that long. Boy, it sure is easy to edit like a five minute video and to upload it. It was super fast. So, uh, it's not going to take that long. I'll be able to like get in my groove and like, I think I'll get better at it as I do it. But she was really happy. She was so happy. And that just, you know, it, it's what I needed because I was really questioning myself and second guessing everything. So I don't know why I put it off for as long as I did. 
I just needed to do it, you know, and just, you know, get it out there. And I did it. So it felt good. It did. I was nervous, but we got there. So I got two more to do and yeah, it's, it's going. Things are, things are good. Yep. No complaints here, y'all. No complaints this week. So, but before I let y'all go, I don't know how long this video has been because I had to pause and go a little potty break and pause, I think one more time before that to let Jasper out. But, um, thank you guys for just absolutely everything. Um, without getting into any other, like, you know, specifics of any other videos or anything that's going on in the community. Thank you for having my back. Thank you for supporting me and for, you know, making me feel like the things that I have said were maybe things that you were feeling uh, and that you agreed with me and that you felt the same way. That is huge to know you're not alone. So thank you. And to know that the integrity is there, you know, just all those things. So I, I appreciate those that, you know, supported me and had my back and were there for me. So thank y'all. All right. We're going to, that's all we're going to say about that. All right. So before we leave, make sure you guys tell me, I'm going to get mad. If you don't tell me how you are, tell me how you are, but you know what? In addition to that, in addition to telling me like what you did during this time, what, what, if you diamond painted, what painting are you working on? Um, let me know and how you're doing good, bad, whatever it is, what's going on in your world. Leave me a little something. Uh, but at the end, or give me an emoji. Sometimes I forget, but I do like to get these sometimes. Since this is probably the last time you're going to see a mermaid for a month. I mean, because I'm doing the Wicked Witch next month. Drop in a mermaid, because this is the last time we're going to see this beautiful mermaid. Probably I'm going to finish her up probably before the next week, hopefully. And yeah, leave me a mer mermaid emoji and just let me know how you are. And then before y'all head out, please give me a thumbs up. They really do help with the whole YouTube algorithm and recommending my videos to folks that maybe haven't found diamond painting yet. That's my goal is to like spread the love of diamond painting and the friendships and the community that we have here. Um, I know I talked about in our last video, which I forgot to talk about today, but you know, I talked about, you know, kind of wanting to be a sneak peeker for like the bigger companies and all that. But I have really... You know, after talking about it out loud and talking about it publicly, publicly, um, it's really made me realize that that's not what's important here. It's the friendships. It is the people here. So thank you. Yeah, thank you for that. So give me a thumbs up. And then if you have not subscribed, I would love to have you. Of course, you know, I would. It's free. It doesn't cost a dime to subscribe. So click on that subscribe button somewhere down there. There's a little subscribe button. Click that, it's free. It just lets me know you wanna hang out with me. And then, uh, yeah, there's a notification bell too. If you click on that, then you'll be uh, notified whenever I post up any new videos. So, all right, I'm gonna get out of here. I gotta finish this. I'm gonna finish watching my show. Do I need more wine? I gotta check for bugs first. No, I'm still good. All right, y'all take care of yourselves. Um, I love you so, so much. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Okay. All right. Bye guys.